Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss trigonometric equations. Let's go ahead and work through this example. The directions say to solve 4 sine x cosine x equals the square root of 3 over the interval 0 to pi. Let's work through it. Solution. The first thing we need in this problem is to be aware of a certain identity. There's an identity that says if you have the sine of 2x, that's equal to 2 sine x cosine x. This identity is very common. It comes up a lot in calculus and it does come up as well in trig. So in this problem, we're going to use this identity. I'm going to start by writing down our equation again. So for sine x cosine x equals the square root of 3. And you're probably thinking, okay, there's a 4 here, but we need a 2. That's exactly correct. So if we divide both sides of this equation by 2, 2 goes into 4 twice. So we get 2 sine x cosine x equals the square root of 3 over 2. Beautiful stuff. And now we have exactly what we want, right? Because we have 2 sine x cosine x, so we know that's the sine of 2x. So this is sine of 2x equals the square root of 3 over 2. So that was a little bit tricky because you had to be aware of the identity. But now there's something even more delicate that happens. So we're solving over the interval 0 to pi. So if we just had sine x equal to the square root of 3 over 2, we would solve it normally. However, there is another step you have to take because there is a 2x here. You want to make sure that you get all the solutions. So whenever you have something besides an x and you're ready to like solve using trig knowledge, you want to do the following. I'm going to go to white. So I'm going to write down this interval using inequalities. So we have x greater than or equal to 0, less than 2 pi. And now you look at what you have here. Here you have sine 2x, but here you have x. So you want to know where is 2x. So what you do is you multiply your inequality by 2 so you can figure out where 2x actually is. So if you multiply on the left by 2 like this, and also in the middle, and also on the right. It's super powerful. 2 times 0 is 0, less than or equal to 2x, less than 4 pi. Boom. This is so important. I'm going to put this in a box. So you're looking for all of the values of sine of 2x, where 2x is between 0 and 4 pi. This is going to give you extra answers that you wouldn't get or you might miss if you didn't do this. So super, super key. Can I emphasize how important it is? And you only do it when there's a 2x. So if there was a 3x here, you would multiply by 3. If there was an x over 2, you would divide this by 2. If it's just x, you don't worry about it and you just, you just solve like you normally would. So how do you solve? Let's do that. So this is the part that requires a lot of trig knowledge. So from memory... From memory, I know that the sine of pi over 3, this is pure memorization, is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. It's absolutely necessary that you know stuff like this. Just memorize it. So from memory, we know that. So we know that that's one of the answers. So 2x is going to be equal to pi over 3. That's one of our answers. Because right, it's not x, right? It's 2x. So here's pi over 3. And you know sine is the y coordinate of the unit circle. So you know the other angle is going to be here because sine has to be positive, right? So the other angle is this one here. To find this angle, you know that the reference angle has to be pi over 3. It's this red angle here. You also know that this is pi, which is the same thing as 3 pi over 3. So therefore, this angle here must be pi over 3 less, so it's 2 pi over 3. So the other angle is 2x equals 2 pi over 3. Now here's the really tricky part. There's more answers. That's right, because 2x is between 0 and 4 pi. So now what you do is, if you take any of these angles, for example, say you take pi over 3, you can add 2 pi to it and get back to the same place, and you're still within your range, right, because you're between 0 and 4 pi. A full revolution is 2 pi, so going around twice is 4 pi. So another answer is 2x equals pi over 3, plus 2 pi. Let's go ahead and add this now. This is pi over 3 
how do you write 2 pi as a number over 3? 6 pi over 3. Right, 6 over 3 is 2. This is 7 pi over 3. So 2x is 7 pi over 3. That's another answer. And then we have another answer. You can do the same thing with 2 pi over 3. Here's 2 pi over 3. You can add 2 pi, get back to the same place. So you have 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi. And these are things you might have missed if you didn't change your interval, like I mentioned earlier. This is 2 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3, which is 8 pi over 3. So 2x is 8 pi over 3. And almost done. <laughs> so very, very sneaky. This is probably one of the harder uh, trig equations you do. Um, so now we have to solve each of these equations for x. So in the first one here, we have 2x equals pi over 3. We can multiply both sides by 1 half. That gives us x equals pi over 6. That's one of our final answers. I'm going to put that in a box because that's an accomplishment. Same thing here. 2x is 2 pi over 3. You can multiply by 1 half. These cancel. So you get x. Ooh, ooh, the 2's cancel. You get x equals pi over 3. Who would have thunk, right? Who would have thunk? I don't think thunk is a word. I just wanted to use it because it's a fun word. <laughs> and then we have 2x equals 7 pi over 3. I'm going to write that over here. And again, solving this one for x, multiply by 1 half, you get x equals 7 pi over 6. That's another answer, x equals 7 pi over 6. And the last one we have to solve for is 2x equals 8 pi over 3. So 2x equals 8 pi over 3. And again, multiplying by 1 half, we're going to get uh, x equals eight pi, uh, 4 pi over 3, because 2 goes into 4. 2 goes into 8 4 times. So x is 4 pi over 3. Wow, what a lot of work, right? A ton of work to solve one equation, but it's a good example because this example is harder, right? And it has this special case with this 2x, which creates extra answers. So hopefully... Um, video has helped you and you've learned some math. If you feel like you have, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Until next time, good luck.